Good morning everybody. Um, today is going to be a little different because I'm thinking of doing a day in my life kind of vlog. I've been asked a lot to do it, so why not? Today's forecast is to rain, so I've got my rain boots ready, my raincoat. I actually don't know if it's waterproof, but I just pretend it is. Um, I ran out of yogurt, so I can't make my overnight breakfast, which is very annoying because I'm starving right now. But it's okay, I'll get some porridge from the fueling station. Um, yeah, I'm like barely awake right now. I need to straighten my hair, put my brows on because where are they? <laughs> and um get some coffee or something i don't know then go to treatment then practice then class then treatment then class then class then hand in a paper then have a two hour gap which i'm not sure what i'm gonna do probably nap or study and then my friend's gonna cite me into the dining hall so yay i love i love going to the dining halls but yeah that's it Brows are done. I wish I could make my eyes look a little more awake, but that's okay. Um, yeah, that's about it. Just gonna straighten my hair, um, have my coffee, probably a caramel one, and go have a shower outside, I guess, because apparently it's bucketing it down. <laughs> Sonia, how do you like the weather? It's cold and it's raining and I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's absolutely bucketing it down. Yes. It Wait, look at fish. <laughs> you good fish? I don't like this. It's a little wet, eh? It's a little wet. I didn't sign up for this. Right? No, right? It's California. I live in Southern no, California for a reason. reason. <laughs> it's not supposed to rain this here. It's not the reason. <laughs> no, not at all. Why, why would you wear outfits today? I don't know. <laughs> Bad idea. This is kind of a cool angle. This is, I like it. My hair's like in my face, but yeah, whatever. It's it's rainy. After a while, this umbrella, the oh, yeah. water just goes straight through it. We made it. We made it. <laughs> hey, Lou. <laughs> Do you like the rain? No. I don't have an umbrella. Or this person. What's up, G? Hello. Do you like the rain? Are you doing a vlog? Yeah, daily. Oh, daily vlogs now. Yeah, I mean, just today, I don't know. Oh. A day in life, kind of. No, I do not like the rain because I was wearing my little slippers and I had to take them off and put on running shoes. Because oh. I didn't want to ruin them. I was like, thank God. It was pouring. It was. Yeah. All right. Good job. Oh, we're on the sitting bike. Ooh. <laughs> Look how fast I'm going. Go, 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 fish. Go, 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 go. Don't fall. <laughs> I'm gonna like knee myself in the face. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. <laughs> it's going way too fast. It's my bad thing. I matched keys with this. It's the ones I'm actually trying to match. Anyway, off to class. temporarily until we can do this in the ER. Um, that's the only purpose of these tags or these signal sequences. They don't generally have a purpose for the tertiary or quaternary structure of a protein. So once they do their job, we'll see that these are cleaved off as well. They don't really serve a purpose other than to direct translation to the ER. Um, so the last factor we introduce for translation is something called SRP, or signal recognition particle, or signal recognition protein. It is going to notice when the end terminus of a polypeptide chain coming out of the ribosome has one of those tags, those signals that say, don't translate me here. Um, you can see it's kind of shown in purple here. So SRP binds the signal sequence. Water falling from the sky. It's not oh, just right? water. No, my phone's Make waterproof. Water. Yes. <laughs> Where are you going? I'm going to bomb shelter to finish my paper. I just finished mine. For CPR? No. No, no, for um, English. Oh. But yeah, that class is intense. There's a lot of notes that go on, but I really like it. Yeah, I missed like half of that. I need to go back and watch the lecture. Oh, for sure. I'm going to do that. Wow, it's raining more than it was before. It's raining cats and dogs. Oh my god, I just slipped down the stairs and my butt is totally wet. Damn it! 
Aw, that's embarrassing. <laughs> like a lot of people looked at me too. Oops. <laughs> anyway, I'm on my way to treatment for my wrist. Um, physiotherapy this time. Don't know what's going to happen, but or what I'm doing, but hopefully I don't fall over again. By the time I get there, I am running a little late, but I wasn't running, so it's just me being clumsy again. My professor cancelled chem today because I guess it's because it's raining. Yo, that's lit. I, was actually I dreamt about that though. I did. I'm not lying. I dreamt that people would cancel classes Dreams because it's raining. Dreams do come true. And it happened. I was thinking about that today though. I was like, well, if I was a professor, I'd be so cool. I'd, I'd be, be like, like, no. <laughs> we don't have rain classes. is not it. <laughs> like Jessica though. <laughs> yeah. Jessica's our English professor and she always like cancels class. Like week seven, we didn't have class, right? Or week six. And then week nine, and we don't have week. again. I, my and we're just like canceling chilling. class next week. Which once class? next week. Geo three. Oh. Because he says we need a break and we look tired. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I wish all professors were that nice. I know. <laughs> UCLA uh, students stay looking tired. <laughs> always though. <laughs> Even week one and Monday. <laughs> week zero. <laughs> that. <laughs> Too much. So I'm on my way home to dry up, get a little warmer, have some food before I head back to campus to get an MRI. Yeah, that wasn't in my plan today. Uh, my wrist has been pretty like extra sore over the past two days. I mean, let's say, no, it's more been like the past three weeks, but on top of that, the past two days have been even worse. So um, they want me to get an MRI just to check everything out. So that will be at 6.30, I have to be there at six. Um, and then I'm gonna probably have dinner with my friend, Emily again, and probably watch Blacklist, which I am obsessed with, obsessed. I love Blacklist. We're off to Sephora. <laughs> It's still raining so much outside. Too wet. It's too, too wet. wet. Too wet. We've decided to leave, go out again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's really wet, but we decided to get out of the house and go in the rain. <laughs> That's smart of us. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> my back. <laughs> I, was about <laughs> I was about to say I bought stuff from Sephora. <gasps> oh my. So I'm on my way back to campus for my MRI which I'm super excited for because I'm gonna take a nap in there and then just go to dinner with my friend probably watch some blacklist like I was saying before and <sighs> and have an early night because tomorrow I have work from 7.30 a.m. till 4 p.m. at the hospital. So um, it's gonna be really fun, but it's gonna be long. So I need to be rested for that. When I go back home, I haven't seen my dogs, Stacy and Mumu, for about a year and a half maybe. And I miss them so, so much. They're just like, Little, you're gonna meet them one day. They're little toy poodles. One's black and one's brown. Stacy's black, but her real name's Anastasia. And Mumu is brown. So Stacy's the older one. She's now five, no, I think she's six years old and Mumu is five. And she's much older because she also has Addison's disease, which is a disease of the adrenal glands. She's on oral prednisolone every day and she hates it. But if we forget to give it to her, you, you can tell a difference. She'll literally just be sitting on the couch for hours doing like not even moving. Like I thought once that she'd stop breathing, but she didn't. Um, so she really needs that to give her her energy, I guess. Um, Mumu is the puppy. She will fetch anything and everything. And she has the best eye-mouth coordination I've ever seen. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, dogs that do agility are, like, like her. But she's super good at it. Like, anything. Like, you can throw, like, a tennis ball to the wall and then let it, like, bounce off. And then she will somehow calculate the angle. I don't know how she does it. At which it will fall in her vicinity. And she'll catch it. It's it's insane. I can't even catch a tennis ball that I throw to the wall myself 
and then just I'm looking straight at it and trying to catch on my hand. Yeah, she's amazing. Ooh. Um, so I miss her so much. I miss Stacy also. Stacy's like my cuddle buddy. She's um it's not my turn to go. Why are you peeping at me? No! <laughs> I'm not turning. Done with my MRI. And yes, I did fall asleep. Um, wow. <sighs> Funny how to wake up. He did a 10 second scan. Then he did like six three minute ones and two four minute ones or something. I'm pretty sure that's the usual anyway. So that was good. Um, yeah, he gave me a biscuit afterwards, which was really nice. Um, they've never given me a biscuit afterwards. And I asked if I could look at the MRI and because nobody else was there, he said yes. So I looked at it and I mean, it kind of looks a bit better than the the previous one. I think my doctor's gonna email or call or, or something about the results because he's not in on Monday, so. Hi, Emily. Hello. This is my dinner. I know, I'm amazing. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Okay, a very cool fact about Emily is that she knows every single color in the world. <laughs> There are so many colors though. I can't know all of them. <laughs> no, you do. Can. Like okay. I will look at a pink and a pink and I'll say it's pink. She'll look at a pink and a pink and it won't be pink. Yeah, Stella's wrong a lot of the time. <laughs> she called, what did you call that? You called that lilac. It's not really lilac. Yes, it is. It's like, no, it's closer to wisteria. Yes, this is exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> it's another fact about me. I don't like avocado. I'm sorry. She's insane. She doesn't like, oh, and she eats spinach and tomatoes, tomatoes. Yeah. Just, she just eats them. She's like a rabbit. Yeah. So I eat spinach and tomatoes in a bowl and I put like, like 20 cherry tomatoes in the bottom and then I just fill it with spinach and then I just eat it like a rabbit. It's not a problem. It's me being healthy. It's like if she went outside and picked, like, leaves from a tree and just ate them. That's what it looks like. Uh, no, 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 no. They're washed <laughs> and probably come in a bag and have probably been frozen for a long time, but they're for sure not off a tree. I didn't say it's what it tastes like. I said it's what it looks like. Look like you're what? In the worst of Taylor Swift. Very happy Are you ready for it? Right. <laughs> 